many sleep experts would tell you your pillow makes up 30% of your sleep comfort. So during CBS 58's Better Sleep Week, I am determined to help you pick out the perfect pillow. Adam from Verlo joins me now. Adam, where do we start? So it's a giant wall. We have about four core questions that we can use to kind of break this down and eliminate large portions. The first thing that I'd like to know is you're a back side or stomach sleeper? Side sleeper. Side sleeper. Do you ever spend time on your stomach or just side really? Uh, every once in a while. Every if I wake up, I might turn, but okay. mostly side. Which That's good to know. How many people out there are side sleepers? Most people are side or back sleepers, uh, very few are stomach. All right, so side sleeper, what do we do next? You kind of have like a petite frame, you don't have very wide shoulders. Um, with being a side sleeper, that doesn't mean, that means we don't have to have a real high pillow for you. Do you sleep warm at night? Are you waking up sweaty, kicking the sheets off, no. that kind of thing? No, okay. Um, and then last, do you wake up with, with um, n pains in your neck? Do you wake up with aches and pains? Every once in a while, which makes while. me think that I need a new pillow. Okay. What kind of pillow are you using now that's not working out for you? I feel like they get flatter quicker than I would okay. like. Okay, so it's like a stuffed pillow, or yes. not a foam one? Okay. Do you have any allergies to latex or nope. down? Nope. Okay, this will be real easy. Now that we've went through the questions, we've got three good suggestions here. There are three pillows that feel very different, and the hard work begins. you got to lay down hard and work. test them out. Yeah, testing these out. <laughs> so now, how long would someone actually lay on this to make Typically, sure that it's right? it's a good suggestion to lay for about five to eight minutes. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, really try just like you would at home, the different sleep positions that you use, and give the pillow a whirl. Okay, so that one, that one feels a little soft for me. Oh. <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> yeah, that feels nice though. It is very different. So bottom line, whether you are a side sleeper, a stomach sleeper, or a back sleeper, finding the right pillow is really critical to a good night's sleep. It's immensely important. You can have a very nice mattress. If the pillow's not doing its job, you'll never get as good night's sleep as you could. Okay, so to recap, here are the four questions you should ask yourself in order to pick out the perfect pillow. The first one, sleep position. That is key because you want to make sure your head and neck are straight. So Mike and Whitney, think of it like you're standing, but with really good posture. <laughs> so like this, right? That makes okay. sense though. So yeah. you want your spine to be in alignment when your head hits that pillow. Yep. And that really is the key. So I was surprised by the five to eight minutes too. It's kind of like a Goldilocks and the three bears. This one's too <laughs> soft. This one's too hard. Exactly. That surprised me too, because I feel like most people aren't actually laying down in the store for right. that long, but they say you really should do <laughs> that. Those imagine? pillows had some funny names too. Did you notice the gummy bears the one? Gummy bear. Now that's just something that Verlo, which by the way is a local company here uh, based in the third ward. That's something that they do. They have more than 80 pillows there and all of them have interesting names. So that's kind of fun.